I guess it depends upon the severity. It depends upon the investigator from the DEA. It depends upon the attitude of the pharmacist. You have to swallow your pride and act humble and apologetic. And it depends upon how quickly you remediate those. And sometimes you could do all of the right things and the investigator is just going to throw the book at you because you technically had violations and maybe they want to make an example out of you and maybe they don't. It depends upon the circumstances. But you have to what really is needed today is pharmacists need to be involved in their professional organizations to know what is going on because we don't get any communications. We learn about it through word of mouth. There's no mailings that come in that Vicodin and Hydrocodone are going to be class twos now. You learn about that from the internet and you learn about it from associations. So it really depends upon the individuals involved in the chemistry between them.